Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have Andrew Huntley, who is the Regional Director for ANZ and Suffolk Islands for Barracuda. So Barracuda is a cybersecurity company which provides security networking storage products based on network appliances and cloud services. So welcome to the jam, Andrew. Yeah, thank you, Nick. Thanks for having us on today. No worries. Thanks for coming on. So um, to begin, um, for an IT or security manager or CISO who hasn't worked with uh, Barracuda before, what are your key products and offerings? I'm, I'm often asked this by, by a lot of people that I meet in, in everyday life. What does Barracuda do? Um, Barracuda Networks, we're a cybersecurity and data protection technology company. We've got customers all over the world. Um, one of the things that we really do strive at Barracuda is to make the world a safer place. We believe Every business deserves access to cloud-enabled enterprise-grade security solutions that are easy to, to buy, easy to buy, deploy, and use. We protect email, networks, data, and applications with innovative solutions that grow and adapt with our customers' journey. If we break it down into to four main technology offerings, we we really we, we break it down that way. We, we do email protection. So one of the offerings that we've got is Barracuda have a comprehensive approach to email protection and we call that total email protection. Um, this, this offering gives you the best possible protection from virtually all types of email threat types. Um, the next offering we really go into is application and cloud security. Uh, we break that down into Barracuda Cloud Application Protection, which protects your apps with one simple platform. On this platform, we have WAFs that can be physical, virtual, or cloud-based, plus a SaaS offering, which is our WAF as a service offering as well. And then we have Network Security, which is our Barracuda's next-gen firewalls, or as we like to call them, cloud-gen firewalls, which help you secure, secure users or sites reliably in the cloud or on-premise. And then the, the fourth one, which is really important today, is data protection. It protects people's businesses from ransomware attacks and data loss. So we can protect people's hybrid environments, their physical environments, their virtual, and also their SaaS environments. So that's the four main breakdown we have in the technology offerings that we've got for people. Nick? Cool. Yeah. So you just mentioned your, um, your products and solutions. So what are the most recent um, improvements or innovations you've had within those? Yeah, so we just released our, our latest version of our Barracuda's cloud to cloud backup product. It's our version three of CCB. CCB uh, version three was completely re-architected and delivers a fast and fast search and restore experience for Microsoft 365 data, including Teams, Exchange, Online, SharePoint and OneDrive. This latest version of Barracuda's Cloud to Cloud Backup is based on a new modern cloud native platform that lays the foundation for extending to new data sources, such as additional SaaS applications, integrating with Barracuda's security services, such as threat protection, and adding data security capabilities, such as data classification and data loss prevention. We find this extremely relevant today with the explosion of data on Microsoft 365. This has been largely driven by the increase of remote working. Remote working is now the part of, now a fabric of most workplaces. Um, so you know, people are adopting Microsoft 365 um, yeah, ever more than they ever have before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just um, how you mentioned uh, Microsoft 365. So I saw Barracuda recently um, released a report um, around the shift to remote work during the pandemic and how it's intensified challenges associated with protecting um, through, uh, Microsoft 365. So can you highlight, uh, outline what these challenges are? Yeah, so there's a really interesting report that we we brought out on on the shift to uh, remote work and how's that in, how that's intensified the data protection challenges. Um, the report reveals a struggle to protect the explosion of Microsoft 365 data, as I alluded to before. Um, the three main highlights we have from, from an Australian perspective or from a local perspective is 46% of Australian IT decision makers say their organisation has experienced a ransomware attack. That's a fairly high number when you, when you consider it. 70% um, of Australian organisations are still relying 
solely on the capabilities built into Microsoft 365 to back up and recover the Microsoft 365 data. This is an area that Barracuda and their offering can help customers with. So that's an interesting discussion when we find out that people are still relying on Microsoft 365 to do that. So that leads into a discussion around our total email protection solution. And then 91% of data uh, Australian respondents also in indicated that they're using Teams, uh, more people are using Teams, and this creates a, a, an increased data retention concern as people start to use Teams on, on a more uh, complete basis as well. So they're the three main highlights out of the report that, you know, with a local bent on some of the data that we got back from the, the people that responded to that report. Right, yeah. Um, and what infrastructure or resources do you have in the ANZ market specifically? Okay, so um, we have a well-established channel. Um, our, our channel, you know, Barracuda was founded back in 2003 and we signed up our first partner in Australia back in 2004. Uh, that partner is based in Brisbane and they're still a partner to today. So they've been with us on this journey for uh, 17, going on 18 years. And um, that really is one of the fabrics of Barracuda and how we go to market is, is a real reliance on channel. We're a hundred percent channel business. Um, we have two local distributors, uh, exclusive networks look after, look after Barracuda in Australia and also New Zealand and the Pacific Islands. And we have Cynics in Australia as well. So we've got two distributors, exclusive networks and Cynics. Plus we also have our, our, our channel network. So we um, have our channel network, network broken up into premier, preferred and authorised partners. And, and people achieve that status by basically going through um, certification level. So the, you know, by, uh, by going through the certification for, from a, a business, so do the doing the technical training, proving their capabilities so they can help our customers out with it. So that's part of the part of what we do from a local perspective, but we also have a local Australian presence for our cloud services, including backup, which includes the cloud to cloud backup product I, I mentioned earlier, um, email archiving, email security, and application secu application security, including our WAF WAF as a service, but also microservices like Advanced Threat Protection. They're all in local Australian presences, so they're in local data centres. Uh, delivering to our, our local customers. Perfect, cool. And finally for you, Andrew, if a partner or enterprise end user wanted to get in touch with Barracuda, what's the best way? Well, they can contact me or one of one of the, anybody on my local team. That's one way that they can start. But another way that they can start is visit barracuda.com. They can have a look at our, our products and our solution offering and make an inquiry over the internet. If they do that, it's going to come back to my local team for them to get engaged with them as well. Um, if they're a reseller and they want to start that journey of being a Barracuda partner, they can contact one of the local team or contact one of the local distributors. Whichever way that they choose as most convenient, we'll do our best to help them out. Um, as I said, 100% channel business. We're, easy, we're an easy company to do with and uh, we're here for the long haul. Perfect. Thanks, Andrew. Well, um, that's the end of today's 10-minute IT jam with Barracuda Regional Director for ANZ and Pacific Islands, Andrew Huntley. Thanks for joining me today, Andrew. Yeah, thank you, Nick. Keep well.